So we've been learning uh, web uh, programming with HTML and CSS. And if you uh, want to take the entire course, you can find it all here. It's the big red icon with the little coding thing. And we just turned this platform on so there's not that many reviews. And if you can't afford the price of the course, just message me on Twitter. And, uh, and uh, I will give you discounted or free access. So um, cool. And uh, what we're going to learn now, we've been learning Flexbox. We've seen media queries. Flexbox, media queries, and then design patterns for Flexbox. We're now going to learn about position. And if we go to one of my favorite websites for learning layout, uh, each, uh, layout HTML. No, what's it? What is it? Learn layout. It's learn layout. Learn layout HTML. And so learn layout. Learnlayout.com. And they have a table of contents here. You can see Flexbox is one of them. And we've also learned about box sizing, border box, and the box model and margin zero auto, and max width. We learned about the display property, display block, display inline, display inline block, and now display flex. And, uh, and no layout is good to think about, and that's just the, the document flow. It's the flow in which the document reads top to bottom, the HTML, and then that's how things get put out based upon whether their default display Quality is block or inline, right? So uh, we've learned all these things. No layout, display, margin zero, auto, max width, box model, box sizing, and flex box. But now we're going to learn position. And so position is just another way that we could uh, organize things. And we have fixed position. And so fixed position, we'll just look at a couple of examples here. So I'll reveal this in Finder and open it. And so here's a fixed position. Look at that. That bar is moving. But we've got something that's fixed. Isn't that cool? Right? So when you see websites where that's happening, they're using position fixed. And to see the code on that, here's the index, here's the H, the CSS. We'll split that vertically. And uh, we have two divs. We have one and two. And so, you know, here's I am the one is that first one. I'm one. And then two is this one here. And then we just style those. We have one and two. And two is the one that's staying in place, and we have position fixed. And then we say top left. And so you just use top left, right, bottom, just to kind of anchor it, right? And so we're saying top left. So down 20 from the top and over 10 from the left. I could have said top right, you know, and then 10. Let's see where that puts it. And what happens if I would have put it negative 10? All right now it's off the page a little bit. So you could actually start to do some things you know, where, you know, you move things off the page and then based upon some action, you move something back on. And so that's where you get slide out menus. And there's a really cool HTML, CSS way to do that with no JavaScript, which we'll learn at some point doing a slide out menu using position, where we just say, hey, when there's a hover, the position comes out to this. When there's no hover, it goes back to that. And it slides in and out. So that's a, that's a position fixed. Kind of cool. We have another position fixed example here, so we'll just pop up to that. I can't get there. There we go. And uh, just kind of slightly different, right? But same idea. So that's just doing something like this with the code, where we have one position fixed. Let's see what the HTML looks like. We have one with info, so that's this one this time. This is the one, and this is the two out here. And so uh, the one is position fixed, 10, 10, and then just formatting. And then the two is with 80% margin zero auto to get it out there kind of in the middle with 80% margin zero auto. And we gave it height, background, color, and border. So that's position fixed. Anybody have any questions about position fixed? You want to see me live code a position fixed? Does that help, y'all? All right, so we'll do a position fix, and we'll make a video for each of these. So let's live code a position fixed, and we'll make this 44. And, uh, and then in here, we'll do a 0, 1. And uh, this will be position fixed. And then inside here, we'll do an index. And we'll do uh, main. 
and we'll split that vertically and we'll link it and now uh, we want to fix something I like position I cannot lie and so I think I want to do just like you know this will be main I'll have an ID of ATF and uh, and then over here we're going to do our reset is that the song you were thinking of when I said I like is that what you thought of that's what you thought of I could read that in your face that you're like is he really going to say that padding zero border doing a little bit of a reset here and then margin zero and a font inherit and color inherit and uh, box sizing. I have no idea why I put that up above. I don't know if I have a reason other than I always put it there, but we'll try it differently. And then we're gonna do uh, ATF, and we'll do a height, 100 VH, and uh, display, flex, and justify content, center, and align items, center, and uh, background, image, URL and a uh, background size is cover and background repeat. There's no repeat and background. What else do I want to add there? Repeat size image position center. And uh, then we'll put a little I like position. I like paradise. We'll see paradise. And uh, and then we have that. And then uh, let's take a look at it. Whoop. There's my paradise found. <laughs> and uh, you know it's nice, perfect above the fold. Let's get that paradise found a little bigger. And so we'll just do uh, font size. And we'll do 8 rim color white. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I guess I don't need any of that over now. Killer white. There we go. Having a good time. And uh, so now I want to do like um, header, and inside he header I'll have. Well, let's just do header, and we'll do header, and we'll do uh, height like 20 pixels, and background color. We'll just do kind of like a turquoise, and. Um, border bottom we'll do like two picks solid gray no sick of it but now that kind of pushed everything off and I want to go maybe 40 pixels <coughs> or maybe 50 all right that, that's a good size but it goes away so watch this There we go. Now it's just sitting on top. And let's do transparency. So background color. I want to do RGB, red, green, blue. So I could do RGB. And I could put in colors here, red, green, blue. And uh, let me just pick a color and see if I can do that. Switch a different way. So I could click this, and then I could say, like, which color do I want? Like that, maybe. And uh, and then RGB 
<coughs> and transparency. Okay, so I'm doing a little transparency on it. You see that? And now I've got RGBA with red, green, blue, and these are zero to uh, two fifty-five. So you can see this one's two fifty-five, and so you can play with this. I'm gonna, just going to make it RGB for a second instead of RGBA. And I can say, what if red is zero? What if green is zero? And what if blue is 255, right? Well, that's just big blue. What if this is the 255? That's going to be red, green. That's just going to be green. What if this is the 255? That's going to be uh, red. Well, what does red, green, blue, what does red and blue make? What color? Purple, right? What about red with less blue, 100 blue, like or 127, like half the blue? Well, it's going to be less purple and more red. What about, you know, uh, we have red, green, and blue. What about green and red? What color does green and red make? Yellow. Interesting. I never knew that. Right? Green and red makes yellow. What about less less green? 100 green. So we got some red and some green and it's making orange. So that's how you do that. And uh, I wanted to go with the blue color, so I'm just going to back all this up. And some transparency. So now I have some transparency to that. And you can see the clouds beneath it. That looks kind of nice, right? And so now, now in here for my header, I could have, you know, two divs. Whoops. And uh, one, thing one, and thing two. And then for my header, I could say, make that display flex, make a flex container, and justify content uh, space between, and align items vertically center, right? Because the default is flex directions row. And so now I've got one and two on the left and right. You see those? The words? And, uh, and I could uh, put a border around those divs. So I could say, hey, if you are a, a div which is an immediate child of a header, border, a two pick solid red. Let's just see it. Okay, so there it is. And maybe I want the height to be 100 VH. No, 100% of whatever it's in. Didn't do anything. The height of the header and the div. There we go, that was weird. It's a header that has a div. All right, so now we got it. And uh, we want the, uh, the width. I guess maybe we'd want on that padding Padding, border, border, margin. I think I'd want some padding, maybe. Let's see what padding does. And so I'm going to do padding top and bottom, nothing. And uh, part of this is, let me just add to this reset the div and the header. And uh, I want that. That's the header, but now the div, right? My text isn't aligned in the center, so I'm going to make the div a, a flex box and justify content center and then vertically align with the line items center. So now that's in the middle. And, uh, and then for the header, I think I'll do a, a padding top and bottom zero but just on the left and right 10 pixels just bring this let's do like 30 40 pixels bring it in a little bit maybe 30 pixels maybe 25 so that's just off the wall a little bit and uh, and then my div that's in my header maybe I want to have a little bit of a hover on that and background color white, maybe, as I hover over them. And 
And I could also maybe border radius if I wanted. I think that'll look weird. So that's a, uh, and now as I add con, that's, you know, using position fix to get that thing. And now as I add content here, right, and now yeah, I have a scroll bar because there's more stuff down beneath that page. So you come to the website, you see this no matter what the size of the viewport. Just trying to grab the window. Right, no matter what the size of the viewport, that's what you see. And then when you scroll, you've got the rest of the website content down here. But the header bar is always there and everything just slides under the header. Is that cool or what? I like that quite a bit. So that's position fixed to do a nav bar at the top of your page that always stays there. Please uh, hit like and subscribe on this video because that helps other people find these videos if you're watching this on YouTube, and it helps support my work as a teacher. Thank you.